In this video, I am going to show you how to add a calculated field to a pivot table in Google Sheets. So this is going to be a brief introduction to calculated fields. I'm not going to cover pivot tables in too much detail. I will go over pivot tables probably in future videos. But uh, just to give you some background, a pivot table is um, a tool that allows you to group together and summarize data in your spreadsheet in a wide variety of ways. So it's really useful for analyzing large data sets because you have a lot of flexibility on what gets returned in your pivot table. And so calculated fields are useful because you can add in your own custom formula to a pivot table to summarize um, any data you want basically with your formula. So first, to add a calculated field to our pivot table, we need to create the pivot table. So I will cover that. Um, so this is the data that I'm going to create the pivot table with. I have month, branch, item, sales, and sales price for some different products. So to create the pivot table, what I'm going to do is highlight my range of data. And then what I want to do is come up to the top here, data, pivot table. And so in the data range here, it should be the range of my data that I highlighted. And you can choose to insert the pivot table into a new sheet or an existing sheet. I'm going to do new sheet and then hit create. So this is what the blank pivot table will look like. And so what we need to do is we need to start filling this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to rows here and I'm going to add item so that I can view um, some data for item type. And then I'm going to come down to values and I will add sales. So now what this is, is this is the sum of the sales per item. So hat is 127. So let's go back to the original data here and look at hat. You see the sum here, 127. So this is what the pivot table is doing. Um, you can summarize it by a number of different ways depending on what you want to look at. Maybe you want to look at average sales per item, max sales, minimum sales, maybe you want to know the median. You have a lot of customization with pivot tables on what gets returned. For this example, I'm just going to leave it at sum though. So next what I want to do is I want to look at the total revenue generated per each item. So if you go back to the original data here, I have sales and I have sales price, but there's no total revenue. So what I can do is I can create a calculated field um, where I can put in my own custom formula to get this number. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to values here. I'm going to go to add and then calculated field. So the very first thing I want to do is, is change this summarize by section. Instead of doing sum, I'm going to do custom. If you leave it on sum, it's going to end up summing some of the values together and your number is going to be off. So I'm going to leave it as summarized by custom. And so now I'm going to add in my formula to the calculated field section. So remember, what I'm interested in is getting the total revenue per item type. So what I'm going to be doing is sales times sales price. But the way the pivot table operates, I can't just do that. I have to do a few other things with this. So in this formula field, what I'm going to do is equals sum of sales. That's the first thing I'm entering because I want to take the sum of the sales per item. If I just do sales, it's not going to give me the total revenue per item. So sum of sales that will basically do this so it'll calculate hats as 127 um, and then I'm going to multiply now what I need to put here is the sales price but there's a couple problems with this sales price if I just put sales price if I look at the data here you notice that each item has different sales prices so the way that the pivot table operates, if I just do sum of sales times sales price, it's only going to take the very first sales price for the calculation. It will not take all of them. 
So that is going to uh, make it so my data that's returned is not as accurate. So what I actually want to do to kind of control for the fact that I have different prices here and the pivot table is only going to take the first one is to give a more accurate estimation, I'm going to do average of sales price. And that should give me uh, more accurate data than just doing the sales price by itself. Because again, it's only going to take the very first price. And since I have multiple prices for each item, it won't be as accurate. Now, another thing that we have to watch out for is you can see in my header here in the original data, the sales price has a space. So if I just do sales price in here, it's not going to work. It's throwing this error. If you have a space in your header, you have to use single quotation marks around the header that you're referencing in your formula. And then you can see um, this works correctly. So now this is going to be um, the revenue per item type. And this is the custom formula that I use to return that. So again, to add a custom field or a calculated field to a pivot table, you come to values, add calculated field, and then there is a section for the formula. So you'll have to put in your formula and you want to change the summarize to custom unless you're doing something with sum. And so you put in your formula into this field, but just be aware of the way that the pivot table operates. So if you're doing something like this, I'm summing the sales, and since uh, the pivot table will only take the very first value for this column, I have to average it um, to get the total revenue. So this is just meant to be a brief introduction to adding calculated fields to a pivot table. If you've never used them before, I recommend um, just creating a table in Google Sheets, going through creating a pivot table, and then um, playing around with the calculated field section. You, you basically just need to learn how Google Sheets um, returns values and pivot tables because you want to watch out for things like this where you need to use sum or where you may need to use average because it's only taking one of the values. Uh, when the values differ. So there's going to be little things with pivot tables that you kind of need to learn. But once you do learn them, uh, calculated fields are very useful for summing or summarizing large data sets. So it's definitely something you should learn. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.